Hi everyone and welcome to day 29 out of 30. Holy shit. We're almost there and for some of you it might feel like a very long journey, for some others it might feel like actually it wasn't that bad. But wherever you are, we are almost there and now it's time for you to make a decision about how to actually what, what your relationship is going to be like with sugar moving forward. So before we continue, you know what I'm going to say, subscribe to this channel, please. I need all the subscribers and also like the video, share it with everyone you know and so on. So I don't want you to finish this challenge and just go back to being unconscious. Sure, 30 days without sugar is a good thing. It's good for your health. It's good for restoring your hormone balance and so on. But if you just think, oh, I have achieved this. Now I'm going to go back to, to real life and you just turn everything off and you decide to just continue doing what you were doing before the challenge. These effects that you've got from the challenge are going to be short lived. You had a brief period of time where you actually felt good and then you're going back to it. So you can do that if you want, but I need you to do it consciously. So perhaps you are ready to jump ship and have a look at the possibilities of what a sugar free life could offer. Or you might not be quite ready yet. Maybe you want to go slow. Maybe you want to just reduce the sugar or maybe you just did it to see if you could do it and you want to go back to what you were doing before. If that's your decision, I'm fine with that. That's up to you. As I've said many, many times, I'm not completely sugar free myself. I am in control of what I'm eating. When I'm eating sugar, I always planned it the day before. I'm never given in to a craving in the moment. That is the worst thing you can do. That will just make your cravings grow stronger and reinforce this behavior. You really don't want to do that. So I feel pretty good about that. I'm be I have been very happy about being able to do that because I never thought I could. And I've only done that for over a year. And it has taken me a long time to have my brain getting used to the idea of never eating sugar again. So in 2020, I'm going to teach myself to not want sugar anymore. My goal isn't necessarily to never have sugar touch my tongue again, but my goal is to feel about sugar like I do about um, broccoli or something. I actually don't like broccoli much. Um, something that is totally neutral to me, that I, I don't care. It's there. I could eat it, but I don't have to eat it. So that's how I pretty much feel about coffee, if I'm making it myself. I like it when I'm making it myself, but I could take it or leave it. I'm not emotionally attached to it, even when I've been drinking it every day for months. I'm, I can just go off it, I can stop any time, I don't have any symptoms, like withdrawal symptoms, no headaches, no nothing. It's like it's not touching me, it doesn't touch me physically or, or emotionally. I just want sugar to be neutral, something that I can look at and think that's actually not good for my health and where I want to be, so I don't have to have it and not feel like I want to have it. So I'm ready to go there. Mentally, I still want it. So next year, I'm going to work on getting myself to not want it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So what I want to tell you is that there are no right or wrong decisions. What, wherever you are right now and what you feel like you need to do is the right decision for you. The, you know that there will be pros and cons of your decision. So all you have to do is take that into account and make one that you are comfortable with or that you feel like you are committed to following through on. So just decide what it's going to be and go for it. There is absolutely no judgment. Only you know what your right decision is for you at this time. This can change at any time for any reason. It's totally up to you. So what I just told you about me is I have been happy to just be in control. I have not wanted to quit sugar because that has scared me and I've had fear of missing out. Thinking, oh, but when everyone else is having cake or ice cream or whatever, 
I'm going to feel terrible. So my brain has been in that space. That's why I have allowed myself to plan for it. But now I actually want to go further. I want to see how far I can go and I'm sure I can get there. I'm going to give myself the 12 months. So I'm changing my decision. Now I have a totally different goal. And that would be very interesting and probably painful, but I'm ready for that. There are no shoulds, there are only wants. Whatever you want to do, do it consciously and that's it. So I will be back for the final video in this series tomorrow and I'm going to see you then. Take care.